What up, bitches? It's the misanthropic one, a.k.a. He Who Hungers. And I'm back up in this bitch for another rant. Um, Someone asked me to do this. Uh, it was a video request. I forget the dude's name that asked me to talk about this uh, Meek Mill and Lace Front Wigs shit. And I'm going to do that now. And um, I want to shout out my brother, J.D. Black, um, because actually he just did a story which could be supplementary to this video um, that uh, it consists of a man, uh, I believe his name is Peter Thompson. He's from Real Housewives of Atlanta. And um, he actually said something similar to what you're looking at right here. This tweet that you're looking at that Meek Mill sent out. See, Meek Mill... Um, Basically, well, he said, you could read it from here. He has a problem with lace front wigs, which are like weaves that uh, women, particularly black women wear. And um, this is a deleted tweet, but uh, the, the people at the shade room, they, they saved it and uh, posted it. And... Um, the dude from uh, Real Housewives of Atlanta, that Peter Thompson guy, uh, the dude turned around and made a uh, video on Instagram saying that he don't like the look of black women uh, wearing blonde weaves because it, it kind of looks it looks stupid. It looks like a cap. Now, um, my thoughts on it, I went on the shade room and I saw that, Jesus Christ, when it came down to Meek Mill. Um, and by the way, you're, a lot of y'all know how I feel about Meek Mill. I, I do believe that he's a fraud when it comes down to the prison reform nonsense. Uh, I think he was an opportunist and he jumped on that because um, I've already done videos on it. I think that, you know, it, you know um, being a virtue signaler pays you in social currency. But um, when it comes to his opinion on this shit, I do uh, um, support his right to uh, a preference because that's all it is. I mean, if you go in the shade room, you'll see all these women are in their fucking feelings. And um, he's not the first person to say this and probably won't be the last. Um, my man, uh, Tommy Sotomayor, he did a video on it. It was like an hour long where he was on the shade room looking at the stupid comments and everything that was um, people were attacking him. And um, I got to defend Meek Mill um, because at the end of the day, it's a preference. What he's saying, there's nothing wrong with what he's saying. You had all these people that turn around saying, oh, man, you, uh, you got to win when it came to prison reform. And then they turn around and go, well, don't start losing now. You know, oh, you lost me on this. And, man, uh, um, you know, I bought your album, man. Uh, some, some person said, oh, he needs to leave women alone. Why? Because it's his fucking preference. Like, that don't make sense. One one of these hoes left the thing saying, oh, you look like uh, your breath stinks and all this shit. And it's like, well, if he didn't say that, would he still look like his breath stinks to you? Like, this is so ridiculous. Like, why are certain people in their fucking feelings? See, and addressing what uh, the Peter Thompson guy said, um, yeah, some of it, some of these wigs look really bad. They do look like a hat is literally on the top of the head or a helmet. It does look bad. And this goes back to Kendrick Lamar as well when he just said on, uh, what song was that? Was it Humble, I believe, where he just said, yeah, I like my uh, girl natural, no um, makeup or Photoshop. I forget what the rhyme was. And then he got flack for that. Why? Because he prefers a natural woman. <laughs> Why is that bad to say? Jesus Christ. And this goes to show you by the way how bad we've fallen how far we've fallen where you can't even have a preference you can't you're not allowed to without people catching feelings um yeah like listen i i agree with these guys look you can have a preference without you know no one's feelings should be hurt people should just say hey listen it is what it is and move on 
You know, but there is one thing that was said. I was watching uh, Tommy Sotomayor's video on this, and there was one person that kind of disagreed with him, with uh, Meek Mill, and said, um, it's funny that he's saying this, but you don't see Meek Mill with those type of women or people that have that complaint with that those type of women. And I got to agree with that. You know, um, if you are, if you do want that, or you're going to advocate for the, this sort of shit, you should be seeking out that type of woman and put her in the forefront or, um, you know, in your videos, put those type of women in there, you know? And, um, you know, you had a lot of, uh, simp ass dudes, you know, saying shit. And let me tell you something. If you go to a barbershop, you're going to hear men, well, black men talking about this sort of thing, how they don't like it. However, in front of your fucking face, they, a lot of these dudes are simps. So they're not going to be honest with you because they want to fuck you. And I'm talking to you women. They, they want to fuck you. So they're not going to tell you the truth. And just like my man J.D. Black said, listen, if if a dude really wants to deal with a woman with that sort of hair, they're just going to deal with a fucking white woman. And I believe Tommy Sotomayor has said this shit, too. Like, I'm, you're just going to deal with the white woman because it's already there. Now, me personally, the reason why, um, like, I still deal with a woman with that shit, but the reason why I lean towards natural shit is because... You know, with all the races that are in this world, each race embraces their natural beauty. What the natural beauty is on a black woman is her hair. That that's what makes her stand out. You know, it has it the the uh, I, for lack of a better word, nappy texture. That's what makes you beautiful. You know what I mean? And a lot of dudes will tell you this, but you take that as an insult. Not all of you, but you know what I'm saying. And uh, I, I'll never understand that. But I had two personal experiences in my life while I'm in the moment, like, you know, fucking or whatever. And, you know, I like to grab and pull hair. I had these females say the same thing. Well, it's not mine. But don't do that. It's not my hair. Like, I'm like, what? You know, like that that kills my mood. And then not to mention, you know, the the, the sort of like these dire side effects <laughs> that happen that you risk when you do that to your head you know you had um what's her name uh uh countess of uh what's her name from the parkers she she developed uh vitile vitiligo that's how you say it, vitiligo from that shit and you had a woman from right here in jersey that you know ended up getting maggots that bore into her skull till she died because they went into her brain and um because all that shit is like dead horse hair, dead people's hair from India and all that shit. So listen, that's a risk that a lot of women are taking by gluing that shit to your skull and all that fucking shit. And another thing is that it stinks. If you put your your fingers that like, you know, rubbing a, a girl's head, like that shit stinks. But um, that's just the truth. I mean, I, I don't know what to tell you. Um... But a lot of you women should not be fucking angry. It's just a fucking preference that people have. Just like how women want to want to run around and say they want to date a fucking guy that's six feet fucking tall. Black women in particular. Yeah, they got to be six feet fucking tall and, you know, this and that. Like, dude, it's a preference. No dudes are s sitting there screaming about that shit. You know, we might say, yeah, it's kind of an unrealistic expectation. But, you know the end of the day it is what it is man um stop getting mad at preferences it, it really is stupid it shows a lot of insecurity and um that's it just a quick rant on that shit i don't think uh meek mill peter thompson or kendrick lamar um are wrong for for stating that opinion that's what it is all right and um, just a quick rant. That's it. Everybody else, y'all know the deal. Leave your love. Leave your hate. Most of all, subscribe. And that's it. Peace, bitches.